pail. Um, hopefully you can see this if anyone is about and watching. The fish is just in the in the net in the edge, giving him a break. But um, the fish have been absolutely mad tonight or this afternoon. They've been absolutely everywhere apart from over my rods. And uh, I had fish near me, so I kept the rods where they were. Um, and then I saw loads of fizzing uh, just in open water, straight in front of me, slightly to the right of Rolo's. Um, and I thought I can't ignore that anymore. So uh, I stuck a little multi rig on, the one I showed the picture of earlier, um, Coron Special pop up, and then I stuck maybe a kilo of uh, glugged up Coron Special straight over the top of it with a catapult. Nothing complicated um, at all. And uh, sometimes it doesn't need to be because literally 15 20 minutes later it's absolutely like one toned, melted off. Um, fish has come straight up in the water and gone like literally inches below the surface. Spooked plenty of other fish that are obviously up in the water as well. Um, and then beat the crap out of me for 10 15 minutes. Um, not sure how big it is, but it's definitely 30 pound, uh, maybe a bit bigger. So it looks like quite a deep fish in the net. So uh, let's hike him out, unhook him, and uh, see what we got. It's a good fish. <laughs> right yeah, proper bruiser that. That's forty pound all day long. Absolutely nailed. People talk about, you know, well, the hooks too. You now we're worried about the hook size and stuff. When you see the mouth, the size of a mouth on a fish like this, I think you could probably get away with a, a sea hook, to be honest. Get over this fish. Jesus. These rigs. Uh, sort of this uh, adaptation of the the multi rig absolutely nails the size of the pecs on it. Not sure if there's anyone watching. I'll slip the net out. I haven't got a cameraman with me for this one. But I can't. Just want to slip the net out. I'd like to get this one away. I don't recognise it, but I'd say it's another new 40. The tail on it is, <laughs> is ridiculous. Core and special pop up in there. Let's give it a quick way. Zeroed them to the, this particular retainer. Pecs on it are ridiculous. Oh shit. Twenty two kilos. Um <laughs> that's a, a really nice fish. <clears throat> a 
just about to say I'll turn it over, see if it's one I recognise, but it isn't. Bit of spawning damage from the slate underneath. Some fish care on it quickly. Right, let's hike her up. If you'll let me. When they're this lively, just stay over the top of them. If needs be, grab the retainer and pull that over the top of it as well. Just you've got, got as much protection as you can. The tail on this is extraordinary. I think because the mat's full of water, it almost thinks it's, uh, it's still on the go. Bear with me. I'm not going to rush her. Not going to take too much time either. But, um... There we go. I think 22 kilos is about 45, 46 about Gosh, you know me. Big old gut and a proper one that. Well happy, massive great scales along its back. The tail on it, look at the size of that tail. So yeah, nailed on Coron Special pop up over a couple of kilos or a kilo and a half of Coron Specials. Um, hopefully you've got a decent view of that. But I'm going to put her down, treat her up. And then give her a couple of minutes in the retainer. Get her, uh, get her gas back, that is a chunk. Well happy with that. Let's just bring her in. Give you a decent view of her. Those scales all the way along the back there. And the size of that tail. That's twice the, twice the width of my hand, that is. I don't know if you can see that. Twice the width of my hand. So yeah. That's that guys, thanks for watching.